going to see in this this Olympic Games is uh, you know the margins of, of winning to, to probably come in eighth are going to be it's going to be the smallest margins in, in any Olympic Games. There's going to be certain things that are going to help swimmers um, reach the podium, reach the number one spot. Starting off with with a with a fantastic start. Gone of the days where you can pop up behind somebody and, and overtake them and, and, and win Olympic gold. The winners are going to be the people that are going to be leading out from the front. They're going to have the best start, they're going to have the best streamlining. Um, with the start and the streamlining also comes the underwater. The underwater phase has become a massive, um, a massive weapon. You certainly saw Michael Phelps four years ago. Um, I think he, he really introduced it into to the world, world of swimming. Um, and it, it's just taken it by storm and I think everybody now is, is starting to catch up with, 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 with the likes of him and, and Ryan Lochte. The start obviously you can go 15 metres, um, I expect all the top guys to be, to be using that. Technique's massively important these days. You know, we've got rid of the, the, the suits that probably helped people in the past make them more buoyant. Um, so technique now is, is, is massively important. I think people that can, can hold, a, hold that perfect streamlined position through, throughout the water, under the water, um, is, is going to be a massive help to, to everybody who, who's going to hopefully be, be getting on the podium. I think uh, you'll see, you'll see uh, in, in the sprint events that uh, there'll, be, there'll be the muscly guys, especially, especially amongst the, the, obviously the men. 1500 meters and probably the 200 meters um, you know they've all, almost got muscles on muscles they're, uh, they're absolutely finely cut athletes and uh, you know you won't see anybody with an ounce of fat that's, that's winning Olympic gold in, in those events going up to the 400 1500 in the freestyle events then you need to be a lot fitter um, and probably less less muscly because muscle weighs more than more than anything and you don't want to be carrying too much muscle for uh, 1500 meters I don't think you'll see a, an Olympic champion that doesn't have uh, a very strong mind. They will believe when they're standing behind the blocks that they're going to win that event. You won't see anybody that is coming into the co competition that has, is lacking self-doubt. Um, they're going to be 100% confident in what they're doing. They're going to believe they're going to become Olympic champion and then they will become Olympic champion. Um, there's going to be people that, that believe they can, they can do it and, and won't, um, but they'll, they'll probably fall down on, on other aspects, not, not on their mental strength.